So hello everyone, welcome to the first talk of the second day of ITAPI 2021 Over Conference. I'm Chen, it's my pleasure to be the moderator of this conference, at uh, least this presentation with Chris. And I would like to welcome Ms. Liu Zhao, Yang Xichen, and Sun Pei Ling to give a talk about Tangan typeface research and their redesign of Noto theory. Okay. Ms. Liu Zhao is an um, associate professor of the Central Academy of Fine Arts in China and one of our country uh, Chinese country delegates. She's my teacher partner and also my friend. Uh, Yang Xichen is an MA typeface, de MA typeface design student in Ready Now. And Sun Pei Li is uh, she's currently studying undergraduate student from the Central Academy of Fine Arts. And the team uh, has done an excellent project about Tangan Squid. So let's look forward to the presentation. Hello, everyone. I'm Liu Zhao. Today with Yang Xicheng at the University of Reading and Song Peiling at the Central Academy of Fine Arts. We will introduce our research on Tangled Scripts, typefaces, and our own design project, the redesign of Noto Serif Tangled. It is an updated typeface with a complete character set which has 6,145 characters, 768 components, two map symbols, with all the forms corrected. The tanker scripts have a special historical significance and social impact, which we have greatly realized after the release of our typeface. The typeface released in February in 2021. And in July, our team traveled to Yingchuan, the capital of the tanker dynasty in history. There, we visit the tanker royal tomb of Li Yuanhao, the founding temple of tanker dynasty. Tanker scripts was created during his reign. Afterwards, we marched across the desert with some lovely camels and finally arrived at the Blackwater City, Karakoto in Mongolia, the place we dreamed of for a long time. It's a military tomb of the Tangled dynasty and the birthplace of Tangledology, the tour around it of the project. Now, let my two students tell the design story of our team's Noto Serif Tangled. First, let me give you a background of the redesign. Founded in 1038 during the Northern Song Dynasty, the main territory of the Tangled was located in the western corridor of the river which served as a channel for commercial land culture exchange between the central plains and the western regions. Tangut people tried their best to absorb Chinese culture and employed Chinese officials. The emperor asked Ye Li Renrong, a minister of Tangut nobility, to create Tangut scripts, which circulated in certain areas for a long time after the fall of the Tangut to the Mongols in 1227. But after the fall of the Tangut dynasty, the script naturally fell into disuse and the culture fell into oblivion. In the late 19th and the early 20th centuries, a large number of Tangut script documents covering history, art, law, and the translation were unearthed in places such as Black Quarter City and became an important basis for Tangutology. The document preserved have original canonical taxi of the time and are of great value for the study and research of Han literature and traditional Chinese culture. Therefore, the study of the Tangu script has always been of great importance to scholars as various characters are similar, correct, and complete belief set has become very important for the development of the Tangu font. Shortly after the release of the Tangut character set, Google developed the Noto Surf Tangut. Because it was branded by Google, 
As soon as it was released, it drew the attention of tangutology experts and met with criticism. Our design team's starting point was the preservation of culture. Therefore, we modified and upgraded the original design on a pro bono basis. The goal is to make the font reflect the unique aesthetic characteristic of Tangut, designing a cracked, complex character site, and developing a modern font suitable for long text, small size reading, and OCR. There are seven available Tangut typefaces that meet the Unico standard which are in the style of Kai, many of which were developed based on typeface designed by Jing Yongshi and Jia Changye, such as Tangu N4694 by Yu Chengyu and Tangu Yinchuan by Andrew West. To facilitate horizontal comparison, we have set all the typeface to the same size, line spacing, and column width. Through this, you can visually you can see the difference. In addition, if a character is missing, we will replace it with tofu block. When the computer is processing the text presentation of generalized Hanzi, due to their feature of horizontal and vertical writing direction, the fonts of generalized Hanzi should be designed with equal width and height. And this generalized Hanzi is also called East Asian width. Amongst the currently available Tangut typeface, there are only three fonts with aligned body frames, namely Mojiko, Tangut Yinchuan, and Noto Self Tangut. And the only font with aligned body and face frames is the latest Noto Self Tangut. The Tangut script is a square shaped ideograph, which was created by imitating the Hanzi. This type of script, which behaves like a single Hanzi in the text, is called generalized Hanzi. Most of the strokes number are lower than 10 and no characters with less than 5 strokes, and very few with more than 20 strokes. So the typography color of the script is better than the Hanzi that have survived to the present are in Kai style, with many oblique strokes P and Na. The composition structure of the script is divided into several types, such as monogram, up and down, top middle bottom, left right, left middle right, and semi enclosed structures. The Noto Serif Tangut redesign faced considerable difficulties. The first was the large workload and tight schedule, with nearly 7,000 characters to be completed in about 16 months. Secondly, as the vast majority of Tango script documents that have survived to the present day are in the Kai style. And during our visit in July, we saw a large number of Tango scripts printing and manufactured documents. As you can see in the pictures, Kai style mostly, with some Cao and Zhuan style, and no Song or Serif style. Therefore, producing a more modern aesthetic serif tangut typeface would in itself imply an innovation. Certainly, the designer did not know how to read and write in tangut script, which has many similar characters and is easy to get confused when designing, and requires double-checking and comparing. Fourthly, Due to the presence of many oblique strokes in the Tango script, several issues arise such as stability of each character's arrangement of white space and clarity of optical size. Fifthly, the Tango script has not undergone the processing of modern printing, and even though there are rumors of attempts to make Zhuzhen imitation song style typeface in the period of Republic of China. However, there are no physical objects or printing that have been found to this date. So even though it existed, no results have been seen. There is no contemporary design experience to speak of. The earliest practitioners of Tango type were very exploratory. But at the time, because there was no encoding or type design expertise, we need to look at this design objectively. Based on the above point, the design process for the Noto Self Tangut redesign is roughly divided into 
matching design, error correction, and visual optimization. Notoserif Tangled has to match the Notoserif CJK. In order to make the reading experience smooth, we started by having a uniform baseline for the different scripts. Then it comes to the adjustment of width and zhonggong. The Tangled script usually has more vertical strokes shu and slightened strokes pie and na. In historical documents, the Tangled script had thin and long proportions. Notoserif Tangled is identical to Notoserif CJK in terms of face rate, with a slightly narrower rectangular body frame than the latter. Keeping the height and optical size of Tangled same to Notoserif CJK, and creating a balance visually but still maintaining the uniqueness of Tangled. To unify the optical size of Tangled character, we adjusted the second central line, which changed the size of Zhonggong. The second central line was first created by Xie Peiyuan and Chen Chufu, two designers in the period of the founding of New China, at the Shanghai Institute of Printing Technology. The principle of the second central line is to control the distance between the central lines of each components of a left-right structure or top-bottom structure. In the early days of handwritten printed TypeScript, this method helped team agree on a style quickly and was more efficient. This method was used to set the tone for the initial style in Tangled. Which is four hundred twenty-two one thousand four hundred and four hundred ten nine hundred sixteen for Tangled, which is a close ratio. The picture shows the redesign with modified width compared to the original. Red is redesign, blue is original. There are a number of errors in the original design, starting with missing strokes, such as this one. The second is an error in the attribute of the stroke. For example, in the character above, the hong zhe is changed to a hong zhe go. In the character below, the dian is changed to a na. The third is error in the attribute of component. For example, in this character, the original version has made an extra stroke, which is the horizontal one. The fourth is the wrong position of the component. The original version has made it up, middle, down. However, the structure of the character should be up and down, and then left and right. And this character has a left-right structure rather than a semi-enclosed structure. The design strokes are interspersed, which increases the clarity of the character and makes it more legible to read. For example, when a pie and a shoe are close together, we lift the shoe to make room for the pie, so that it is more spacious and the white space is more evenly distributed. When dian and shoe are close together, we let the shoe move down. In addition to the interspersed stroke, we also adjust the white space of the typeface so that it is even and proportionate. The white space is affected by the thickness and density of the black strokes, which in turn affects the typographic color of the layout. The Tango script has many slanted and crossed strokes, which makes it difficult to design. After studying on the Tangled script printings, we have discovered some features of the treatment of the strokes. For example, in the Z-like stroke, we move the upper right corner to the left to make space for the crossed strokes, creating a stable structure similar to an equilateral triangle. The Hongpie strokes are very close together, which is becoming dense. So after discussion with the philologist, we let the end of the Hongpie stroke fall on the vertical shoe. The processing of the two strokes relationship gives the text a more even texture. 
For the Tango script Pie and Na, which is the slanted strokes, the designer used the rhombus structure to stabilize the script by referring to the printing document examples. And this rhombus structure is also a common method of writing in Hanzi and Nushu script. In order to solve the problem of free variation in the preparation of components and uniformity of strokes, using smart components function in glyphs, we designed a set of strokes, which allows the length of strokes to be adjusted horizontally and vertically. In addition, we designed different anchors to make the strokes more variable and standardized. Besides the characters, our team also designed two architectural symbols. The two symbols, stupa and pagoda, appear in documents related to the script. Therefore, it was included in the Tangut font. It also reflects the important role of Buddhist culture in the history of Tangut. The image shows different versions of the tower. The two towers on the right are our design and look more uniform in style. From this project, we have learned that imagination has limitation. When encountering new strokes that are not found in Hanzi, the design team had to consult and compare a large number of ancient books and documents. Discuss with Tangutology expert, improve the combination of strokes and the direction of the strokes. Translate and identify the characters from their origins. Making Tangut fonts more in Tangu style is not an easy task. We found some Hanzi-like components, but have their own features. These discoveries come from the careful observation of the design team. For these new modifications, we even had to submit documents to the organizations that maintains the international standard character set to modify the standard glyphs within the international standard. The component in this picture is close to Hanzi, Fan. And after careful comparison, we found that it is not a broken stroke for rapid writing, but a part of an up and down structure. A Hanzi designer would instinctively treat this component as a combination of a leftward Shuang Li Ren and a rightward Shu. But according to a document, the component is semi-enclosed. The Na strokes in this series are not fully semi-enclosed. We creatively call them semi-semi-enclosed to distinguish from semi-enclosed. Because of the indentation of the horizontal and downward style strokes, the enclosed part are free to extend according to the extra space. This detail pushes the word convention to the extreme. Designing a typeface requires not only careful observation but also theoretical judgment. We spend a lot of time on this component, initially designing it in the style of Song Ti, thinking that it was like Han Zi Li. We repeatedly adjust it and found that we could not solve the problem of balancing white space. After researching the old printed document, we discovered that the ancient Tangut people rotated the second horizontal stroke clockwise to give enough space for the inch stroke of P. So we boldly make changes. First, we change the sharp shape to a round shape. Round stroke looked more closer to Kai Ti style rather than Song Ti style. So we finally decided to use the sharp shape. The final angle closely builds a diamond shape, and the final structure thus appears as Xie Zhe Go, which means an oblique stroke. The modifications created an even white space, which gave it more tangled characteristic. After seeing our designs, Yu Cheng Yu was very satisfied and only gave suggestions to this stroke. The stroke is similar to the Dian Ti in San Nian Shui structure. It is not a vertical stroke. So after researching a variety of Song Ti, we determined a different design from Noto Surf CJK. These are all the changes we made to the redesign, basically changing the original design all over again. 
to conclude, it is a large amount of work, but it's worth it. After the release of the font, it draws many people's attention. Many users are comparing, downloading, and commenting. Meanwhile, it also helped in the development of the input method, where the Tangutology expert used Notoserf Tangut. With the font and input method, we have made Notoserf in use. We printed our design on stickers and T-shirts, partly out of our love for our work, and partly to serve as a way of spreading the Tangut culture. When I walk down the street or take the underground in China, people often ask, "What are these characters? Why can't I read any of them?" This has created an opportunity to introduce everyone to the Tangu script. In addition, these products have been well received by Tangutology experts. In addition to this product, we have also digitally restored the illustrated version of the Universal Doll of Guanyin Jin Bodhisattva, which is an extremely real piece of Buddhist sculpture in the Tangut language known to the date. It is also a real object in the history of early Chinese printmaking. The empire of Tangut Dynasty translated the Buddhist sutras from Hanzi to Tangut, in order to spread the script. This Guanyin Jin Bodhisattva was designed as an illustrated book to make it easier for people to understand and promote the use of Tangut script and improve the literacy rate amongst the people. The various characters, customers, and tunes used in their daily lives, which are represented in the illustration, are also important source for the study of Tangu's history, culture, science, technology, painting, and engraving techniques. The Noto Self Tangu is a modern font suitable for long test, small size reading, and OCR. The digitally revised version of Guanyin Jin Bodhisattva has Hanzi translation. The font makes it easier to disseminate the Tangu script and its culture. Where the original document is unclear and missing, we have also made repairs based on relevant research. This project has a collaborative effort between the design team, philologists. An encoding expert. We are grateful to all the experts who helped with us in this project. Before Tangut scripts entered the universal character set, Tangutology expert in China developed the fonts with impeccable hands, code point, and used in their research. If they don't change the new fonts, hands. And Tangut characters in Hans code points are mixed in the documents, but it is a lot of work to replace fonts with the right one. So perhaps experts can use OCR technology to help them translate. In the hope that a font with a correct code point can truly fulfill its roles. As an information exchange. Now we come to the end of this presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's really like amazing talk. Yeah, if anyone wants to ask a question, please、uh, put in the chat room. Miss Luda, do you want to introduce again for yourself? So I think at the beginning of the talk, you you want to like say something. Uh, you didn't open your mic. Ah,、uh, I can help you do that. Yeah. Ah,、oh, yes, nice. it was. Yeah. Yes. Ah,、uh, it's not a big、um, big problem. This because I I come in very late, so it's a、uh, time is limit. Um, many, yeah, friends, many,、uh, new friends and old friends with us, so it's okay. Well,、uh, let's.
I'm seeing there's some questions. I can't, uh, many questions uh, in Yong Chen. Oh. Yeah, uh, shall we read the question, Chris? Yes, as we can do that, especially yeah. the one from the, you know, the from the question tab that the others uh, attendees they can't see that. Yeah. So yeah, there's one about the uh, by Ken about the understanding that some term root characters have alternate forms that can potentially be handled via the ideographic variation database IVD by registering the a new IVD collection. So they, he asked if he, the design has any alternate forms at all. Yes, I, I don't think so. We, we did that. Um, and we follow the standard from the Unico character set. Uh, we just update the uh, new uh, changes and uh, add some new characters. So that's all. Uh, I think uh, Ken, uh, I know Ken. <laughs> Hello, Ken. Um, maybe we can uh talk it uh, in uh one by one and uh, to know how to update maybe we can uh do some further research and uh, more design for it yeah. and i think he also asked about the verbal font for tanga scripts so do you have any think of that I think we love to <laughs> do this challenge, but uh, yes, because a lot of stroke and it's a, a very hard task. Um, if the Google like, maybe we can try. Yeah. Mm, that's great. So, like, uh, are you going to do the like for the axis, like for the weight? Is at first it may probably have the weight axis. So probably are you going to make some narrow version of it or other axes? Do you have any thinking of that? We did the narrow one uh, compared with the Chinese, but uh, more narrow, it's, uh, we, we didn't try it because the, the space uh, is a very difficult. And I think the board one uh, is uh, very difficult to, to design how to make the space the cross uh there are many cross stroke i i know in latin uh, there are a very special design method about stroke uh, stroke like for example x but in china in uh the uh chinese or uh tangled is not doesn't work sometimes mm. so uh yes we we, we should try mm. We didn't find any uh, very a very bold style in the documents uh, in the Asian documents. So, mm. Mm. and there's another question: If how many characters are there in the set? In the character set? Yeah, for the character set. Character set? Yeah. Yeah. How, how many characters? Yeah. Uh, Xiao Chen, <laughs> how many? Characters in character set. Uh, I forgot the uh, detailed number, but it's more than seven thousand. Mm. Hmm. I think it's around seven thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and also, so then we can tie the question with the variable style as well for that. So imagine seven thousand with variable. <laughs> so oh. exponential. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's axes. Wow. Mm. Huge project. Mm. And also, Toshi mentioned the original casual like style appears to him the most, and he really appreciates the new design. But meanwhile, he wishes someone can make the calligraphic style of it. Yeah. Yes, we love the many old style very much. So I I think we should. Um, uh, I advised uh, Pei Ling. Uh, now he's uh, he's in the in the meeting now. Uh, he, she wants to try uh, to be the graduate work. Maybe we will try one. Many many uh, styles we we can uh, to challenge to do it. So I I think um, if any any other one uh, love the uh, the tango's uh, scripts, maybe you can try too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, and the other question from Mira In. An observation of interesting facts. When Sandal designs Noto South Serif Korea, they choose a more calligraphic style, much like Chinese KT regular script. Similarly, uh, divided from Chinese and Japanese understanding of Songti or Minchou, but in line with Korean people's understanding of Minjo. I'm not sure whether I pronounced that right. But here, Tangut is transformed from KT into a, um, I think it's a an angular. Songti, a totally different approach in the same family. The project is great in design. Just think the comparison is interesting. Ah, it's not a question, it's a comment for that. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you very much. And uh, Chongrong Kim, uh, he asked a question about how did you uh, categorize all elements of Tango script to use smart components, smart components function in Glyph's apps? How can you check? Sure, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Xiao Chen, you, you can reply? Uh, yes. Um, it's not easy to use smart component for Tangut at first. So I made about uh, 2,000 characters. Then I can know uh, how many strokes I need. So then I start to design the smart components. So you really need to know the uh, strokes well, and then you can cat catalog categorize them. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Not every time it's smart. <laughs> and at the first, I I don't think I can use smart uh, smart components in Tango because they are all some slightened strokes, oblique strokes, not vertical or horizontal. So um, I didn't uh, make the smart component as a whole character or one part, just make some strokes. It's much better. Mm. And uh, there's the other one, Wong Chung Li. Uh, for the hand, there, there are many common repeated components which we can reuse and apply in most of the characters. It seems like the Tangan doesn't have that. Right? So for the Tangan script, there are not so many repeating um, strokes or like... It, it may be have, but I can't read and write Tangan. I'm oh. not familiar with this script, so I don't know. <laughs> Okay, yeah. is that? <laughs> we don't uh, how to learn every script, right? <laughs> yeah. He said you already answered the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also for the font use, I also wear the t shirt. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I wear my uh, oh, it's my wow. design. <laughs> 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 <You're laughs> You change. <laughs> yeah. I have a comment actually for for the part of the criticism that that happened at the beginning. So uh, was it for mainly the experts in in Tango, uh, how to say Tangutology, or was like a, any actually graphic designers that make criticism as well? Where did it came from though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are the experts. Ah. The experts, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I think that would be the challenge as well for once yeah. when you have uh, the feedback from graphic designers is one thing because they know what they are asking, and they know yes, yeah, like the angularity, is the stroke variation, is the con is the contrast. But uh, I wonder how it was this process of being like an expert that is not necessarily a designer so maybe they don't even have the even the proper terminology to address their issues so i think that adds a new layer of complexity to to do the changes and and that added to also the fact that you're translating something that's calligraphic into a system a typographic system so yeah but uh that's, i wonder like how that's a really really hard test to do Mm 
So we have another question here as well, uh, that additional Tango characters were encoded in Unicode version 13.0 mm -hmm. yeah, from 2020, or are there any, any plans to add glyphs from them? Yes, I think so. Um, uh, I, uh, the fonts uh, are always growing, so we will update if the uh, Unicode version updated. We will follow, it, I think. And also that question, what are some of the possible modern applications of this script? Oh. Thank you. Are there any like applications of this uh, script? Do you have any plan for the where to apply this uh, typeface? Xiao Chang, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, some modern application. I think it's um, some application to in order to spread the. Uh, introduce the public about the Tangut culture. So I think that's the most uh, application. I can't, can't come up with other things. Mm. Probably like make some local types because this is, uh, you give to me, it's translated my name into the Tangut, right? Yes. So maybe probably there are some like local types as a kind of that's Yeah, and King Lut sent uh, the Unicode to you. Yeah, that is mm -hmm. one for a new Unicode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So are there any more questions? Yes. Uh, can you can also ask do you have the the URL for the new version? Yes, you can find it on the GitHub. Mm. Yes. Mm. And there is a um, question in the room chat. Do we still have experts who know how to pronounce these letters? Are they the same as Hanzi? Yes, I think we we are in uh, a museum. Uh, Xiaocheng, do you remember the museum name? Uh, they have uh, experts to pronounce Tango scripts. But I I miss it. I I always I find every room, but I didn't see it. <laughs> I'm going to listen it. <laughs> mm. I think that's Did definitely another use for the typeface for educational purposes. Mm. Trying to be used as a way to educate people to yeah. know how to pronounce it. Yeah. But I know in China the about the research of Tango. Uh, language is very hot. Uh, there are many experts all over China to did the research and they have the very uh, a high level meeting every two years, I think. Mm -hmm. They did this year online. Yeah. Yeah, and the and other thing is the... about the criticism is that by having the font, even though some characters there might be a dispute about how they should be, but actually this it's bringing the discussion to the table. I think that's really, really valuable. That's no other way of starting a conversation like this. So, but yeah, that's another good point for, for having this and pushing forward. Yeah. And when Chang Yu said, thank you, it would be interesting to hear how it will sound like. Yes, yeah, the link here in tank, uh, GitHub, yeah, in the room chat.
Yes, I do need to hear how do it sound like me too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a new question. Does Qiang and Tonga have tongue? Uh, what, what does that mean? Qiang is like a uh, day, just like different reason, like that, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 no, it's about a Qiang. It's about a Qiang. 什么敲有什么汉缅语系? 好像是这个意思 Is that two scripts? Uh, you mean Qiang is the other script, Ming. right? Qiang is another language? Yeah? I, I don't know <laughs> 枪, 枪语另外一个, mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, yeah He wants to know whether these two languages have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not. I, I think it's not like Putonghua, no, not, not like Mandarin. Maybe you can find some uh, someone reading the Tangut language. Online, there are some videos. Mm -hmm. So they probably don't have the tongue. Uh, and there is a question from one Bing Qing. Why choose Song not? Mm. Why? Yeah. What? Uh, do not Kai? Because we uh, redesign. <laughs> the original one is the song style. Not new, <laughs> not the, the new project, not new project. Yeah. All right, one or two. Oh, ah, yeah, it has two tons. Oh, cool. Yeah. But it it's a sound it doesn't mm. like uh, the C verb <laughs> can pronounce. <laughs> if you can, you you try. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> let us listen. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because <Certain. laughs> oh, I can't pronounce it. I I even don't know how to read or write it. <laughs> I know nothing about technical language. <laughs> And I have I have a question about like when you design the na like zhi like that stroke. So when you design that, you like put in the two third of the length of the na, not like some normally like for the kai ti normally like that length, but for from song change song style uh kai ti style to song ti style, they make the na like the stroke longer. So why you narrow it? But you you are designing the Song Ti style. Uh, yes, we uh, look up some many. Uh, no, we look up many materials and found that it's not the uh, that such long as the Hanzi. They always put this as a two third, and then so. It's about the not the beginning. We found that we have designed many like Manila, like the whole lens, but then we decide to make modify 
motivation, like to shorten it. Thanks. And we made a lot of change like that. Mm. Yeah. I think the, the time is almost done. Please. Yeah, shall we go to the panel room? Okay. And so we have another talk starting in 11 minutes. So yeah, we, I think it's good for us to go back yeah. to the hangout room because then especially for, but, but I think it's, it's one talk that has a lot of comments, which is really good, like our own suggestions as well. And I know sometimes it's hard for people to make questions without having the chance to do it like in a, in a camera and so. So actually the hangout is a good space for that. So people, if you want to just, uh, the attendees as well, if you want to head back to the hangout, had the chance to have a further discussion. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, thank you very much for, for the presenters and also Chang for, for doing the moderation of the session as well. So thank yeah, thank you all for attending. Thank you. And thank you. catch up soon. Yeah. Thank you, Christine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jintang. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.